Keep it going for Austin, everybody. Keep it going. All right, brother, how are you so far? Pretty good? All right, we're going to keep it going. The next time we come to the stage, please welcome Vince Berry. Oh, you guys are too kind. Thank you. Austin, I hate to break it to you, I was the WAP outside your window the other night. <laughs> I was just throwing meatballs. <laughs> uh, so I didn't know that if you drove to Portland, Connecticut, you'd get transported to Sedona, Arizona. <laughs> like what? You can buy blue blockers, you can buy turquoise jewelry, a belt buckle. Somebody's having a tag sale in the middle of a country bar. I'm not quite sure why we're all here today. I don't see a price on that deer, but I bet I could buy it if I made somebody an offer back there. So yes, my name is Vince Berry. For um, the five people under 30 back there, people tell me I look like Pope. Someone tried to draw Post Malone from memory. Okay, I got it, all right. People over 30, they say they look like the Macho Man Randy Savage if you stop doing steroids and just eat chips. <laughs> uh, who was in, I heard we were, had someone in the Navy here. Who was in that? Oh, well, oh yeah, the guy that looks like he's in the fucking Navy. Anyway. <laughs> is that, is that, who, who's your, is that a relative or girlfriend? That's my girlfriend. Your girlfriend? I don't know, I'm, I'm not going to say, I don't want to find anyone. I don't know. You can just bring your sister. Do whatever you want to do. This is a country bar. <laughs> Are you disappointed he's not a Marine? You can be honest. It's a, whole, it's a, it's a secret time. It's all right. So the bar's named the Winchester, and there are actually two Winchester rifles above the bar. I guess in case your semi Sam comes in. I'm the rootinest, tootinest, and all the I don't, I just, I, I love it. I just don't quite understand the aesthetic in the middle of Connecticut. Like, down the street, there are people wearing salmon-colored pants. And we're in here. Hey, um, do you get paid every time the Monopoly money gets printed, or do they give you residuals? <laughs> you guys, the, the table of people who got bullied in high school can't see. He's bald like the guy from Monopoly. <laughs> we got the goddamn breakfast club back there. We've already forgotten about you. Wow, that was a specific joke for people like 35, and I fucking nailed it. All right. Yeah. I haven't watched the news in a couple weeks. Has Joe Biden died yet? <laughs> I don't know. Like, I'm not going to get political. I'm just saying, you know, right, left, conservative, liberal. There's got to be an age cutoff for this shit, right? Like, I don't know. He looks like a Halloween decoration that somebody stretched bubblegum over. The skin was just, it doesn't have the tensile strength that skin usually has. I got the vaccine. Um, under protest, kind of like baseball, you protest it, but it doesn't fucking count. Um, I just wanted to fly again. I don't give a shit. I, you know, this shit's a hoax. I just want to get on a plane. But um, I still have like a little, like, it's still kind of, there's a little thing there. It hasn't healed after a couple weeks. And every, you know, I, I, I'll, I always think of the worst. Like those side effects earlier this year when it came out, they're like, oh yeah, you could just get the symptoms of coronavirus. Or like, you could sneeze and your asshole would fall out and you'd be driving behind you. Just picking up peanuts like Dumbo for the rest of your life. Enjoy your chicken wings, everybody. This, this looks like the kind of place where the food comes out slow because they refuse to hire illegal immigrants. And if you ask my friends back there for any food, they don't work here. Don't, please don't call ICE on them. They're legal, I swear to God. You're just going to rip the band-aid off for all the Trump supporters in here. There are two brown guys who are about to do comedy, so buckle in. So, um, I realized the other day, actually last night, that I need to start dropping some pounds. Uh, we were at a comedy show, and uh, a girl, a very attractive girl, was making eyes at Austin instead of me. And why wouldn't you? He's a cutie, right? <laughs> But she, when she turned around and she looked at me, she had that, like, spoiled milk face on. Like, I think I could have shit on the floor and gotten a better response. He just looked at me like my belly. Yeah. Uh, I know, right? I mean, listen, the, 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 the true story is I put on all the weight and I grew the beard just in case the one of the impractical jokers tears an ACL. I'd slide right and nobody would even notice they were gone. 
before I, uh, actually, you know what? I, I, I tried to audition for that show. I actually have a friend who writes for that show, and I sent him a video. Uh, I said, all right, so this is gonna be me. I'm trying to host the correct show. All right, Sal. Go into the nursing home, drop off the Chinese food at the counter, and start coughing. <laughs> he, uh, he didn't like that one. <laughs> not like that one. Um, before I grew the beard, I had a soul patch. For those of you who are not quite sure what soul patch is, that's when you take like a quarter of a square inch of hair and shave it on your bottom. There's no other hair on your face except for like a post-it note right under your bottom lip. Um, what they don't tell you about a soul patch is that you actually have to have soul first. Right? Like, you can't just shave a soul patch and you're like, you know, you look in the mirror, I'm gonna try and make it. I look like Jason Mraz with a thyroid problem. <laughs> Thank you to the five white people who know who Jason Mraz is. I'm trying to tell you all. You guys are the real heroes. I can just do all of my old references and you guys will get it. It's beautiful. I was talking to one of my friends the other day and she goes, Well, you know, my father was the legislator that put forth the bill for the plastic bag tax. She looked very proud of herself. Now, I have never hit a woman. <laughs> it's about the closest I've come in recent memory. So listen, I don't give a shit about ducks, just give me my plastic bags back. Uh, I took a shower earlier, and uh, yes, I do bathe. I'm like, oh, it doesn't fully look like it. Yeah, bathe, yeah, cleanliness. Um, I took it during a thunderstorm, though. Okay, so this is, I gotta ask this out loud. Is this just an old wives tale? Does anybody know? Are you really going to get struck by lightning if you take a shower during a thunderstorm? No. I hear yeses, I hear no. I mean, I'm just picturing, like, I'm singing along to Linda Ronstadt, and I hear a crack of thunder. The next thing you know, I've got freaking Don King here, and I'm wrapped up in the shower curtain. I always wonder if somebody gets struck by lightning, is it like the cartoons? Like, do you actually, like, do you see the skeleton for a second? <laughs> No, no, I don't, I don't think you want to test it. They said you can go, if you go through the phone, like, they, not cell phone, like landline phones, you get struck by lightning through the phone. Is this, this sounds like some Back to the Future shit. I don't even know if it's right. <laughs> Marty, we've got to make a phone call in a thunderstorm. And all of a sudden, we're back in. Is that what happened here? Did we go back to Back to the Future 3? I know that's the one that nobody talks about, but it was in the Old West, so it's relevant. I really do like this place. You guys are great, and I agree with Paul. If you're having a good time here, be sure to give the Winchester five stars. Um, if you didn't have a good time, tell them you were at the White Dog Cafe. <laughs> I really, I do like it. Well, it. It feels like there's a bingo hall at Foxwoods that's missing a whole crew of people. <laughs> so I really, I do, I like it here. It's like, this is like a family reunion. I really do love it. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end on this. I do have a couple inventions that I'm trying to get patented. One of them is a dating app for people who just want oral sex called Tinder Eats. <laughs> I want to uh, invent something called the period scheme instead of a pyramid scheme where the first three weeks of the month you're making money and the last week you're in the red. <laughs> The young folks never get that one. I don't get. I don't know why. And and last but not least, I want to make a seasoning that you can put on your crab cakes and your arthritis called Old Gay Seasoning. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Vince Bill. Bartender, everybody. Just